Welcome to your in-depth weekly horoscope for week commencing the 6th of April for the Sun or the Ascendant. If you've yet to subscribe to my channel, I'd be honoured if you did so now. Please comment and interact with me. I answer every single one. And remember, you can subscribe to my free astrology magazine or your daily horoscope by clicking the link beneath this video, or you can choose to have a one-to-one -one with me or buy your own personal astrology reports, which will give you deeper insights beyond your zodiac sign. So we're continuing to live in very challenging times with COVID-19. But I think there are reasons to be more optimistic. Mars, the planet of drive, of individual recognition, is in the sign of Aquarius, where it can trigger uh, more teamwork, more collaboration and cooperation. For sure, for some people, this may be a time when they want to invest in their individuality. And Mars is clashing with the co-ruler of Aquarius, Uranus, for the whole of this week. We are probably going to see some civil disobedience. Not everybody is going to abide by the rules. And that can be disconcerting to some. But for the people that want to make this better, Mars in Aquarius is an opportunity to be more sacrificing for the group be a real good team player. And Mars also links brilliantly with Venus. So if you are working either at the sharp end in healthcare, distribution, retail, or uh, perhaps you're working in, chem in a chemist shop, anything which is supporting this crisis, I do feel that there is an opportunity for better relationships to develop with the people who share your ethos. And also online, the online community can really burgeon with Mars and Venus in such a good angle. There can also be some lovely relationship stories emerging where people do build up ties completely digitally, which is very Aquarius, or possibly some relationships uh, that are already established can be reborn by Mars's beautiful link to Venus, whereas others in Mars's uh, clash with Uranus could see others break down. That's a sad fact of this particular aspect. However, all week, Jupiter, the planet of growth, is in a conjunction with Pluto in the sign of Capricorn. Now, Capricorn, of course, at its highest level, its highest dimension, is very much about stability, security. And I think these two can collaborate to see more central thinking about how the financial markets could be stabilised. But I think Mars squaring with Uranus can see some recklessness as well. Also, the North Node, the point of destiny, which is almost like the emotional... Uh, the emotional uh, gravitational pull that none of us can control, uh, it's something that affects us all, it's like a societal uh, draw, that's in the, the very emotional cancer still, as it comes to the end of its journey in the sign of cancer, it will move into uh, Gemini on the 5th of May, and that's in a quincunx with Saturn all this week. So again, there may be some people who are finding this need to be very disciplined about what we do collectively might be having quite an impact on them at an emotional level. And I do feel that isolation could be an issue. So we all need to be trying to keep in touch with folks the best we can. But as this week draws to a close, the sun does square up both uh, Jupiter and Pluto that are in that conjunction. And there could be some kind of clash Perhaps it's to do with us really understanding that the way things have been cannot stay the same. So even as this crisis becomes more under control, I do feel the reasons why it happened, which obviously is partly to do with Chinese wet markets, of course, but it's also definitely to do with environmental damage. And I think perhaps for all of us, we're beginning to see that life has changed forever. It's not going to go back exactly as it was before. That can be an uncomfortable thought as this week draws to a close. But as Mercury powers into Aries on Saturday, joining up 
with the sun in this location, I really do feel that we're going to get on the front foot in a much more dynamic and uplifting way. And there's going to be a much greater drive and momentum to try to push this awful condition back. Your specific forecast, Sagittarius, suggests that you can be particularly enterprising when it comes to home cooking or perhaps uh, just enjoying time in your garden. Getting your hands in earth can actually be very positive for you as Jupiter continues your ruler with Pluto, the planet of change. Venus continues in your sector of relating and forges a magical link this week with Mars. If you're single and you're chatting to someone online, you can really manifest a very glamorous side of your nature. Of course, Uranus does clash with Mars this week. This is a tricky influence. And I think for you, it could create a certain amount of nervous tension. But once Mercury moves into Aries on Saturday, despite the pressures and tensions of this very uh, sensitive time for us all, I just feel that you can start to feel a bit more outgoing and move back into your normal approach as much as possible uh, as we uh, battle with the COVID-19 situation. It's been a real pleasure being with you. Remember, please feel free to comment, share or like. Subscribe to my monthly magazine, regular mail outs, your free daily horoscope. Look to have a reading with me or order your personal astrology, which will give you so much greater understanding of what makes you tick by taking advantage of my 30% off special offer by seeing the links beneath this video. But for now, take care and goodbye.